Hello, it's Arit here. Welcome to The Esatino Artist, where we help you simplify your marketing to amplify your results and make more money doing what you love. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to design eye-catching, stunning podcast artwork in Photoshop. It's something that's super simple to do, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create the one that you see here on the screen. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create this canvas right here. So I'm gonna to go to File, New in Photoshop. We're gonna make sure that we have the right dimensions here. So it's already entered in, because I've previously done uh, entered this in. So 1400 by 1400 pixels. Yours might be different. This particular cover graphic was for Spreaker, a podcast in Spreaker, and these are the minimum size dimensions for the artwork. So make sure that you check the platform that you're on to find out what size the graphic needs to be in. And they also mentioned it needs to be 72 DPI or resolution with RGB. So this looks all good. I'm gonna create the canvas and we have our square graphic here. The first thing we wanna do is create a solid color layer. So I'm gonna go down over here to the bottom right where it says create new adjustment layer. Let's click on that and select solid color. Now you can come in here and play around, choose whatever color you like. Because I had created this for my client, this is Melody Owen, by the way, she's a founder of Author Nation, which is a resource for nonfiction authors. So if you've thought of or in the process of writing a book, check out her stuff. I'm gonna put links to her channel and podcast in the description below. But what I needed to do for Melody is use her brand colors. So we're gonna go back here. You might need to do the same. I'm gonna embed or bring in a graphic you can bring in a logo or some other graphic that has the colors that you wanna capture. So I've designed her, uh, her YouTube banner, for example, and I know that it has all of her colors. So I'm gonna just bring it in as a placeholder and we're gonna sample this light blue color. So we're gonna come down to the fill layer. I'm gonna double click on this. It's gonna bring the color picker box open and I'm gonna click here to sample this light blue, make sure it's the exact light blue, and then click OK. So now I can hide this YouTube banner and just have it on the bottom here in case I need it to sample any other colors. And the next thing we wanna do is bring in a photo of you, or it might be another picture that you wanna use on your cover. But you could see here that it's very nicely blended into the blue color so it doesn't clash with anything and that's what gives it this really simplistic look. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna come in here, go File Embedded, and I had asked Melody to take some photos of herself. So I actually came in here and used, she had this photo and she just took some photos with her, well let's click on the check mark and then bring this it's actually underneath the color fill layer, so I'm gonna click and drag it to be on top. So she just took some photos with her phone, which is totally fine, you could do that too. And we need to remove her from the background, so make sure the layer is selected and come over here to the Quick Selection tool. And then over here where it says Select Subject, it's gonna automatically, the AI is gonna find the subject or the person and create a selection around her. It's usually, it's pretty good. The AI is pretty good in terms of finding the person in the shot. It works best when you have a plain background. And this is why I took her, I told her to take some photos in front of a plain, uh, like a plain wall with nothing else in it. It's created the selection. Now what we're gonna do is right click, select inverse, and it's gonna select the background now. If you see here, I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard and it says that you can't do that because we need to first rasterize this or convert it to a smart object. So what I'm doing is right clicking on the layer, rasterize layer, and now I'm gonna hit delete and it's gonna delete the background really nice and seamlessly. Okay, so I'm gonna click out of it here, go to the move tool and move her into place on the side here. And to make her blend into the background, all you need to do is come over here and you can play around with these different looks. It does some really cool things to 
the photo, sometimes it does some wacky things to the photo. <laughs> you can get creative with it and do some really cool graphics with this. But what I chose here is the luminosity. We have Melody nicely blended into the background. Don't worry about positioning things or anything at this time. We just need to grab all of our assets like the image, the text, and then we can go ahead at the end and move things into place. So the next thing we want to do is the name of the podcast, right? Choose a bold font, something big that covers the entire graphic because it needs to capture attention. Don't make people strain to read what your podcast is. They're actually just gonna look away from your cover and read other people's podcast graphics. So let's bring in a text layer. I'm gonna go over here, click, and then let's type in author nation. So I'm gonna come over here to the character box and we're gonna select all of this. Let's make it way bigger. And to bring this nation word down, we just have to adjust the sizing between the two lines. So I'm gonna make this, you see I'm using the click and drag. You can also use this, but it only allows you to a certain point. So I'm just gonna do this. Let's make it even bigger. Again, exaggerate the size here. And then let's move this back here. So what I like to do is make sure that the text is aligned on both sides. You can see here it's not, but let's first change the font. So again, I'm gonna come back to the character box. And if, by the way, you don't see this, this is on my shortcuts toolbar. If you don't see this, you just need to come to window character uh, and bring that back up. So let's change this to the font that I used was Bebus, Bebus, Bebus. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce that. And then, so what I wanna do now is make this nation word bigger. So again, go to the text tool. Let's highlight this, come back here and make this bigger so that the end of the last N aligns with the R. And then we're gonna bring it down like so. Cool, so now we have something that looks like this. The other thing you can do if it's not to your liking, you, you look at it and you're like, eh, I don't know about that. Let's go back and highlight everything and make sure it's the same size again. So I'm just gonna randomly type in a number to make it bigger, 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 bigger. You can also adjust the spacing between the letters. So you could do that here. Again, it makes things just easier to read. And then we'll go here to paragraph and select the center alignment. And then I'm gonna choose the move tool and again, move it back into place. So that looks nice, let's keep that. So this is the name of the podcast, but you do also wanna include information perhaps on what the podcast is about. Very, very few words. This is just an interviews podcast, so we decided to put that word on here. So I'm gonna type in interviews and then adjust the spacing of this as well as the size. Let's make that slightly smaller. And we decided to have her name on there. It just adds more of a personable vibe to it. So I'm gonna type that in with Melody Owen. Okay, let's change this font here. I believe it was Minion Pro, something like that. And we didn't have this one in all caps actually. So I'm gonna go back here. So I've just moved this back into place here so we can see what we're doing and then select this. I think this was all small letters with Melody Owen. Okay, so now you see we have all of our elements on here and we need to make certain things stand out. This stands out already on its own against this blue but this and this because it's overlapping with the image this is why i've added some of these rectangles to create contrast so to do that you need to come to the rectangle tool just create a rectangle don't worry about the color yet we can adjust that so i'm clicking and dragging and then i'm going to drag this layer underneath the interview so we could see what it looks like and I need to make sure that this rectangle is, I'm gonna just bring this above so we can see this graphic. 
we need to make sure it's this yellow color. So I'm going to go to this rectangle, double click, and again, sample this yellow. Perfect. Let's hide that and then bring this into place. All right, and then create one more here. You can see this one is a little bit different. I created like slants on the ends here. I'll show you how to do that. So this is just a white rectangle and you can adjust the color here beforehand as well by coming in here, choosing your color. Okay, all right, so let's click and drag. and move the rectangle behind Melody's name. I'm going to select Control T on my keyboard, or you can also come here. I like to use shortcuts, uh, but you could come in here. Same thing is to free transform the path. So that's under the edit menu. And once you have that, you're gonna hold down Control, and then I'm gonna click here and drag this towards the left like this. Same thing over here. Or actually, I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna drag this towards the right. So it has both slants on either side. That's what we like. Maybe just making it a little smaller. Hit the check mark. Yes. And we're gonna make Melody's name fit on there. So we need to make it smaller like so. All right, and now all we need to do is just move things into place and save it. So you can play around with however you want to make this look. The whole idea here is, is the test of, because this graphic is gonna look a lot smaller when it's you know beside all these other graphics. So you want to zoom out. I'm gonna hit Control minus on my keyboard to see that, you know, I can read that very well. I can see everything. There's a face on it looking at me. It's captivating with the contrast and the yellow pops out. So that is looking good. It's, an, it's eye catching. So let's come back here and all you need to do is start resizing things. So I'm gonna double click here, Control T to free transform, or you could go to the edit menu and click. We're gonna make Melody a lot bigger here. Okay, let's hit the check mark. We're gonna bring, I'm on the move tool by the way. I'm gonna bring author nation up here and then I wanna select both of these things together. So the rectangle and interviews. I'm gonna hold down shift. Oh, that's the wrong one. So the rectangle and then hold down shift, click interviews, bring that up. And then again with Melody and the white rectangle, I'm gonna hold down shift, click on the second layer, so this selects both of them at the same time, and then bringing that up. Or this looks kind of too busy right now, so I might just move this back down to something like that. So again, you can play around with the where you want things to be positioned, but super simple to do. And once you're done, make sure you go to File, Save, you're gonna save the PSD right here, and then you're also going to save the JPEG or PNG file, so you could go ahead and upload that graphic to your podcast artwork. And that's how you design your podcast artwork in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up on the video. And if you need my help in designing any graphics, I'll put my email address below. Please also check out some other Photoshop tutorials. We have a whole playlist of them so you can watch another video on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.